Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the Viva Dash Mundo webinar. Today uh, we are actually joined by the lovely Christine Kelly from UC Irvine, who will be giving you a brief rundown uh, on the university and their offerings. Um, so today I just wanted to run through the actual Zoom application that we'll be using. Uh, of course, feel free to ask any questions at any point in the webinar and we will get back to those questions at the end. Um, if you could ask any questions in the Q&A box just at the bottom of the screen, that would be brilliant and then that way we can get back to our answering those for you right at the end. Um, a little bit about Viva Mondo and what we do. Um, essentially, we are here to help you on the next educational chapter in your life, whether that's information about visas, destinations, degrees, courses, everything you need really to uh, make the decision of where to next uh, go really, especially in a, a crazy world that we're living in at the moment. Um, and apart from that, what we'll do is we've also got the Facebook Live. So hello to all the Facebook Lives out there as well. Um, if you can register for the webinar, that'd be great. And you can then uh, ask a question live and we will get to that at the end of the webinar. So that's it for me. I think I'll, I'll hand it over to you, uh, Kristen. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So good morning from California. I think it might be afternoon for a lot of you. It's about nine in the morning here. Um, I'm gonna talk to you today about the University of California Irvine's Division of Continuing Education. So we are going to talk about actually some programs that are not degree programs, um, but still offer a lot of academic and uh, professional value and can also help prepare you for degrees. Um, we are also a top 10 university in California, as you can see, and I'll go over um, the kind of structure of UCI, the Division of Continuing Education, and get into our program specifically. Um, again, my name is Kristen Kelly, and I am the International Marketing and Recruitment Manager here um, for the Division of Continuing Education at UCI. So, a little bit about UCI first. If you haven't heard of us, we are a University of California. Um, we have about 38,000 students, which was the total for last fall, the start of our last academic year, and this included everyone. So um, undergraduate students, graduate students, postdocs, anyone who was studying with us. Um, so we are quite a large school. We have three Nobel Prize winning faculty on our staff. Um, 29 of our programs, master's programs, are ranked in the U.S. top 50. And we have over 100 inventions generated each year. And this is important because UCI really um, sees himself as a university that is dedicated to science and technology and innovation. So we're in a really good location of California to do this. So um, we have a lot of resources um, generated on this end. And so we really are able to put back into that. And we see a lot of that happening with the, um, the inventions that are being generated from students and faculty alike. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. For University of California, Irvine, we actually received over 122,000 freshman applications for the fall 2020 class. Um, this actually makes UCI the number one university for in-state freshmen and one of the most competitive UC campuses. So the University of California is actually a system of about 10 different campuses. So, um, more famously, there are like UC Berkeley, UCLA. These are UC campuses and UCI is also one of the UC campuses. So all of the UCs are very large research-based schools. Um, and one of the ways that we help students still connect with faculty, find community and um, have a more uh, like intimate feel where you don't get kind of lost in a large student body is to divide the school up, the university into different schools. So for instance, you will have like the School of Education, the School of Engineering, the School of Computer Sciences. Um, this helps you a little bit connect more and get more out of your university experience, even though it's so large. So the Division of Continuing Education is one of these schools that helps pare it down. So we're actually um, a division that doesn't offer degree programs. So I'm gonna go over what we do offer that still gives a lot of value to international students every year. 
And just a little bit of a fun fact there at the bottom, um, our mascot is an anteater. His name is Peter the Anteater. So you see him a lot everywhere and the students love him. So just so you know. So University of California, Irvine. Um, although we're not in a big city like Los Angeles and San Francisco, so we might not be as well known internationally as Berkeley and LA, it's still a very good large school that is well known in the United States. So. We actually, as you can see, we had former President Barack Obama deliver uh, the commencement graduation address at our school in 2014, which was really exciting. Um, we have been ranked the number one best university under 50 years old by the Times Higher Education, uh, the number one doing the most for the American dream by the New York Times. And that is not just applicable to Americans. That means anyone who comes to study with us is getting the resources to see their own goals play out, however that looks. Uh, we've been ranked the number nine best public university in the United States by the US News and World Report, and the number five best value university by Forbes magazine. So very top good school um, that we really hope a lot of students start to consider and hear about more and more in the future um, because it has a lot to offer and has really great accolades, um, rankings, and awards. So we call ourselves the UC in the OC. So some of you may know Orange County, some of you may not. We are on the coast in Southern California. Um, basically halfway in between Los Angeles and San Diego. Um, so you can see there, this is like a aerial view of um, Orange County about Irvine. So this isn't just this campus, but the bottom half is uh, the actual UC campus. And you can see how close we are to the Pacific Ocean um, and a lot of industry as well. So some of the great things about um, UC Irvine. The city of Irvine was actually ranked the safest city in the United States for 14 consecutive years, including this year. This is actually a ranking done by the United States FBI um, that just ranks Irvine as the safest large city, meaning that it is a great place to go to school and study. Very safe college town right by the beach, very close to a lot of great places um, that students like to visit such as Los Angeles and San Diego, which are each about an hour drive away. Um, even driving distance to places like Las Vegas um, and the mountains in the winter where students are able to go skiing and snowboarding. So perfect location for students. Um, we're in coastal Southern California with a Mediterranean climate. This means that we have warm summers and mild winters. Um, not too much rain. I think um, on average we get about over almost 300 sunny days a year. Um, so it's a great location for that as well. We are the center of Southern California's tech coast. So many people know Silicon Valley in Northern California. Well, we want to have that same kind of industry and resources happening in Southern California. So OC has taken it upon themselves to create California's tech coast. So we are gaining just as much industry and resources and businesses located in our area. So things like Google, um, Blizzard Entertainment, um, which do a lot of video games like World of Warcraft, they are located in Orange County and more and more businesses are coming each year um, to take part in this um, area and um, economy. And you can see, we would actually be the 45th largest economy in the world of OC if the Orange County was kind of separated on its own. It's very vibrant and diverse, lots of opportunities here. And of course, we're near world-class cultural shopping and entertainment destinations, um, including Disneyland, um, Surf City is Huntington Beach, uh, Angel Stadium, which is American baseball, and so much more. Um, you're really in a great position to see a lot when you're located in Southern California. So that is a little bit about what's going on outside of the university and right around us in our community and neighborhood. So Division of Continuing Education. So like I mentioned, um, the universities of California, all of them are very large schools. So they have thousands and thousands of students um, who study with them each year. So one of the ways that we help create a smaller community feel is to have different schools within the university. 
So the Division of Continuing Education is its own division, and these are the programs that we offer and that I will be talking about today. So English language programs, accelerated certificate programs, internship experiences and OPT. Um, for those of you who don't know, OPT is work authorization in the United States. So I will explain more about that um, later on. University preparation programs, for those of you who are looking for degrees, um, we have four credit university exchanges and summer youth programs. So I am gonna go into each one of these individually and we'll talk more about them. Okay, first up are our English language programs. So these are designed to help you improve reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. Um, whatever your goals are, if it is just more um, kind of having fun vacation or you really need to improve them for um, either your work or like going to study at the university. So um, all of these cover all of those essential skills. So in our English language programs, we have three different options. We have the intensive ESL, a conversation and culture ESL, and business English. And I am going to go into each one of those for you as well. So first up, our intensive ESL program. This is always 10 weeks long. So these are done in 10 week sessions. Um, all of our course offerings, um, we are on a quarter basis. So we operate, for instance, fall, winter, spring, and summer quarters. Um, intensive ESL is offered within a 10 week every single quarter. So it is no problem doing this really at any point during the year in those quarters. So in intensive ESL, you would be preparing for university level study, career advancement, or just the accomplishment of your own personal goals if you really need to make headway fast. So the way it works is you do not need any English language ability to enroll in intensive ESL. Um, you can be starting with absolute zero. What you do is after you um, arrive at the university, you would take a placement test and the placement test will place you in one of our levels and we are ranked levels one through seven. So as you can see here, you have a little bit different curriculum depending on which level you are placed into. So levels one through five, you would get the grammar and writing, reading and vocabulary, speaking and listening for a total, excuse me, of 20 class hours a week. And again, that's for 10 weeks long. When you get to level six and seven, you still will focus on all of those essential skills. So you'll have reading and writing or the essential skills for communication speaking and listening, and then you also have the option of an elective course. And while these can vary, um, we have things like accent reduction, um, idioms, culture, a lot of options for students depending on what you've been enrolled for, and it's totally up to you what elective you would like to take. Um, so again, this is offered every quarter, and you can see our upcoming um, program dates there below. Um, you do want to like enroll in that whole session. So those, you want to just take a look at the start dates for each quarter, um, but we have it through 2021 currently up on our website um, to help you plan that. So that is the intensive ESL. Now conversation and culture. This is for those who want to just kind of have a fun interactive atmosphere to get a little bit better at their English and um, do it in an immersive environment in the United States where you can learn more about the culture um, and be immersed with other international students. Now this can be from two to 12 weeks that you enroll in. Um, so we, this is also offered sorry, um, in winter and summer quarters. And so within the winter and summer quarters, you can sign up to study in conversation and culture two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, up to 12 weeks long. And in each two week session, you receive, sorry, in each four week, within four weeks, you would receive the 90 hours of instruction um, and practice your English for everyday conversation in a fun and interactive atmosphere. So um, the sample schedule there you can see is you would have a specialized course. Um, and some of those that you might be placed into um, could include American culture, English for STEM uh, or academic preparation. Um, you also do the speaking and listening section and pronunciation vocabulary or business writing. 
So students do still have some options depending on what their main goals are when they um, take these courses with us. And again, these are offered in winter and summer quarters. So the program intakes um, range from the January through February, and then again from July through September. Um, all of our dates are currently up through the end of 2021, so you're able to see those um, for planning purposes. And we would be adding the 2022 dates um, probably quite soon. <laughs> so that is conversation and culture. Lastly, we have business English. So this is structured similar to the conversation and culture in that it is um, offered in winter and summer quarters, and you have the option to enroll for as little as two weeks up to 12 weeks. So in business English, excuse me, it's a little early in California, for each four-week session, Students receive up to 72 class hours of instruction and they improve their business English communication skills to advance their career or to succeed in one of our ACPs and that is our accelerated certificate programs which I'll be talking about next. So we have students who are simply interested in business, students who want to do further global business, um, or students whose companies send them here to improve their English for their business purposes who enroll in these courses. So as you can see with the sample schedule, the curriculum is all based around English for business purposes. Um, and this is really meant to help you succeed in a business environment with further English. Um, this program does require a minimum intermediate level of English proficiency. Um, the intensive English and conversation and culture do not require any English at all. You would enroll um, and simply take a placement test on arrival. And again, it's levels one through seven. But business English does require a test of English because they don't start from the ground up. They do assume that you already have some level of English and you need to improve it for business purposes. So our website actually has a long list of the um, tests of English that we do accept. So we have a lot, but more commonly that students ask about are like the TOEFL, the TOEIC, the IELTS. Um, we've even started accepting the Duolingo test. Um, so you can see all of the test scores that would be necessary, depending on which test you take, um, on our website for all the different programs. So that is a look at our English language programs. So next up, our accelerated certificate programs. So these are specialized programs that balance theory and practice. Um, and this is really meant for students who um, have either completed their university degree or are close to completing their university degree. So each certificate program is three months long, so they do move quite quickly. They are full-time daytime programs, and they can articulate into a degree. So what this means is that we have students who are currently in university, um, and then they may come maybe on their summer break um, take a certificate with us and then they can apply the credits that they earned with our certificate back to their university at home. It's not necessary to do that. You don't have to do that. You don't even have to be enrolled in university. You can be completed. Um, but just to know that that has been possible for several students in the past. Um, and then these programs really have an emphasis on real world experience. Um, and we complement these by giving students who enroll in the ACP program the options of the internships and the OPT work opportunities as well. So I'm going to go into more detail with our what we call ACP. So the benefits of the ACP, you're really enhancing the value of a degree that you will get or already have and you're updating your knowledge and skills. So as we all know, um, in this day and age, things are moving very fast, things update very fast, technology moves things faster than it ever has before. So it's really important to continue to update your skills and to continue to be learning no matter what your profession is. So things like the ACPs are quick three month programs that help you stay on top of your field that you're in. Um, in these programs, they're very practical. So you would visit American companies we also often have guest speakers come in, and all of the professors are real world professionals in these that are working in these fields. So they have a lot of the latest up to date knowledge and are bringing that into the classroom for you. 
um, we can help you develop a professional network, both with professors, with companies that you visit, and with your fellow international students located in the ACPs. You can gain the practical experience of what you've learned with the internship once you've completed a certificate. Um, and you can take advantage of the OPT work opportunity after nine months of study, which I will um, give you more details on. And of course, when you complete an ACP, you earn a certificate from one of the top 50 universities in the world. So again, this is not a full degree, um, but many students find a lot of value in these, especially those who do not have maybe the time or all the money needed for a, a master's degree because these are so much quicker, much less expensive, and give you a lot of the same benefits that a master's degree is having for students these days. So I am going to show you some of our options, I believe here. Yes. So these are what our current ACP options are. So we have about 13 of them, I believe. We are always looking to expand them. We are um, looking at what's new, what students are looking for and adding them. Um, but as of right now, this is what our ACP options are. You can probably see a majority of them are business options. So business administration, business of esports, um, innovation management, international finance. Um, but we do have some that fall outside of business specifically. So for instance, there is the creativity and product development, data science and predictive analytics for business professionals, um, international tourism and hotel management, being an event planner, um, and the teaching English as a foreign language. Now, each one of these programs is three months long, so that takes up a full quarter. Again, we're on the quarter system, so fall, winter, summer, and spring. Um, but not every ACP is offered every quarter. So it's important to check and see when you are interested in studying and making sure that that ACP is offered that quarter. There are some that are offered every quarter. There are some that are offered every other quarter. Um, so it's just important to look at that and plan that out if you are planning to take one of these or looking to study with us. So a little bit more. If you complete an ACP, you then have the option for the internship opportunity. So our internship opportunity here allows you to take part in a 10-week professional internship with the local Orange County business community, um, which as I've mentioned before is quite vibrant and diverse. Um, and the internship will definitely be related to the last certificate that you completed. So when you do the internship opportunity, you are able to gain exposure to the, to the dynamic business environment of Orange County. You're able to combine the classroom learning that you had in the classroom for your ACP with the career experience. You're really learning new skills and concepts in a real world setting and making further professional contacts in the United States. You're able to build your resume and learn interviewing skills and experience business work environments in the United States. So with the internship opportunity, it's also more than just being placed with a company. We help you understand um, American business environments. We help you create an American resume. We do some networking nights to help give you an opportunity to perhaps network and find um, an opportunity on your own. Um, and we also do interviewing skills. So we help you understand what to expect and practice for an, intern uh, an interview in an American environment. And one thing that's important to note is that the internship placements um, are relevant to the most recently completed ACP. So what that means is sometimes students do more than one certificate, but the internship will be with the last one that you did. So for instance, I'm gonna go back to my other screen. Let's say you just chose the top two, business administration and then business of esports. If you do first business administration and then business of esports and then do your internship, uh, the internship would be related to business of esports. If you would prefer your internship to be related to business administration, you should either flip them so that you do business administration second, or you could do business administration and then take the internship and then do business of esports. But that's just important to know because we make sure to place you in what was last completed. Um, so that's just a little bit of information for planning purposes for those who might come down to that level. So that is the internship. Now the optional practical training, which is spelled wrong on my slide, I apologize. Um, 
Optional practical training is a huge benefit and one of the main reasons that students like to take our ACP programs and what make them so competitive um, to master's degrees. So optional practical training is a full-time salaried position for up to one year on your student visa. And this means that after you study, you can get work authorization in the United States for up to one year that allows you to work in a company, getting full pay and benefits. So this is a um, tied to your student visa. And the rule behind it is that after nine months of full-time study in an approved program, you can apply for the OPT. So our ACP program has been approved for the OPT um, if you study with us in that program for nine months. So because each certificate and the internship program takes up three months, you would need to have some combination of the ACP and internship that took up nine months. So most commonly, you can see that little pathway at the bottom. Students would do one ACP followed by a second ACP and then they do their internship. Altogether, they have created a nine month program that then qualifies them to apply for OPT from the US government. Um, students, I don't know the exact rate, but it's very, very high for students who apply to OPT to get it. Um, as long as you have maintained your student status, you didn't like break any rules or anything like that while you were here um, and you completed your program, students will most likely get the OPT um, granted to them. And one thing to remember is that OPT is work authorization for the entire United States. So you don't have to stay in Orange County for this. You have the whole country available to you to look for work options. So in this way, some students choose to stay in Orange County or Southern California, that's why they came. Some students want to go to the East Coast, um, students go to the Midwest, students go to Hawaii. You have the whole country available to you for work um, positions. So this really helps bring out a lot of the benefits of our um, certificate program. You get the education through the certificate, you get work experience through the in internship experience, and then you get to actually stay and work in the United States. So when you've completed that, you can come home with almost two years in the United States of a combined um, educational and practical experience, um, which sometimes can be more valuable than, for instance, an MBA degree if all you are doing is just studying. Again, it all depends on your personal student goals. Some students still find math, uh, MBAs to be more practical for them, but we have had a lot of students who were considering MBAs come to this program instead, especially because it's so much less expensive and it gives them a lot of benefits. Now, this is not necessary. You do not have to do OPT. Um, it's just an option if you are able to and want to complete the nine months of study. You are certainly welcome to come just take one ACP and be done. You are welcome to take one ACP and the internship and be done, or you can stay and do as much as you like. Um, it's also probably good to know too that um, students do pathways or maybe they start with our ESL program and then move to the certificate. So our programs are, are pretty much all connected where you can jump from some to the others as long as you're meeting the requirements. Um, so there's a lot of options for you as students here. So lastly on the ACPs, the requirements. So you either need a university degree or you need some academic and work experience in the field of the certificate that you're looking for. Some students do come um, if they've maybe only done one year of university or two years. Um, so that definitely is possible. And then there is English language um, required. So again, we offer a lot of English proficiency tests for us, but just some of the more common ones here, um, at least 71 on the IBT TOEFL, 530 on the PBT TOEFL, 685 on the TOEIC, and 6.0 on the IELTS. Um, or, like I mentioned, some students, they'll come and they'll take ESL first, and again, we're levels one through seven. If you start with our ESL and you complete the level five courses, you can go straight into um, the ACP um, without needing to show the English language test otherwise. So some students choose to do that as well. Um, again, our website has more options for the English language program, um, the test course that you would need to um, meet the requirements. So I would encourage you to take a look at that. So that is the accelerated certificate program.
Next up, we have university preparation programs. So this is to help you showcase your strengths and realize your dreams of pursuing a bachelor's, master's, or doctor degree in the United States starting at UCI. So again, these programs are not degree programs, but we will help you prepare and apply to degree programs anywhere in the United States. So first of all, undergraduate preparation. If you are either in high school or have completed high school and you want to apply to a bachelor's degree program in the United States, these offer a lot of help and preparation to help you get into the program of your choice. So these um, are international undergraduate preparation programs. They include exclusive seminars and workshops in university, uh, US university expectations, resources and culture to help you adapt beforehand. You can actually start taking courses at UCI while you are enrolled in the preparation program. That gives you transferable credit towards the degree that you end up enrolling in. Um, and we also have intensive preparation courses. We will help prepare you for the SAT, which is a test that most students need to apply for their bachelor's degree, as well as the English language um, TOEFL test and other test preparation to help you meet meet the target scores that you need for the program that you're interested in. And of course, while you are on this program, you get the introduction to the UC campus, the faculty, um, all of its resources and all the academic rigor. So you really get um, an insight into being a college student before you're actually enrolled in the program. And we give you strategic guidance and assistance with university applications. So for instance, if you come into this program because you want to study biology on the East Coast at, you know, Harvard, MIT, the counselors will help you research the necessary requirements for these programs at these schools, help you understand um, these applications and give you application assistance. And you're getting all the preparation that you need to apply to these programs and you're even able to start taking courses at UCI that you can then transfer to the university when you actually enroll in it. So these programs actually have a few different options. So you can choose six through 12 month options. There are um, combinations of them are offered year round. Um, and if you can see there to visit our website, you get a lot more specific information on this program. Um, the IP, that's internationalprograms.ce, continuingeducation.uci.edu slash IUPP, International Undergraduate Preparation Program to learn more. Now on the same side, if you're looking for graduate programs, so if you're looking for a master's or PhD program, very similar situation here. We have expert guidance on the US graduate school selection and assistance process with the applications. You're able to start taking academic credit bearing classes that you might be able to either meet prerequisites that are needed to apply to graduate programs or transfer to your degree program if the new school allows that. You get intensive academic English support, including coursework and tutoring in English. And you will get the intensive test preparation courses to help improve your scores for the tests needed for the graduate programs that you are interested in. So the GRE is very common test that is needed to apply to graduate school. The GMAT is similar, but it's specifically for business um, schools. And then of course, the TOEFL and IELTS English language courses and we offer comprehensive academic support and individualized advising. So this program is really great if there are graduate programs that students are interested in, but they haven't maybe met all the courses they need to take, the prerequisite courses, or they need to improve their English language scores, or they just need a little extra help understanding and applying to the US um, graduate school program. Um, and very similar to the undergraduate one, there's a range of different options and intakes for students looking for graduate preparation. So these ones actually range for six to nine month options that are offered um, in combination to year round. And again, you can visit our website to get all the further details um, and specific information for these. So again, that's IP international programs CE continuing education uci.edu slash IGSPP International Graduate Studies Preparation Program. So these help you get to the degrees that you need in the United States. 
Okay, this is what we call our experience UCI programs. So these programs help you jump into academic and social life at the University of California, Irvine. Very flexible options and these um, really help you get the feeling and have an experience of being a real UCI student um, on our campus. So the two options that we have here, the Academic Study Abroad Program and Experience University Research. I'm gonna talk about both of these. So the Academic Study Abroad Program. This is an option for graduate and undergraduate students. And essentially, we call this our ASAP program, Academic Study Abroad Program. It provides current university students with the experience of studying abroad at UC Irvine for three, six, or nine months because we're on the quarter system. Um, you can take the credit-bearing academic courses to hopefully transfer back to your home university. So this is for students who are currently studying in a university, whether that's undergraduate or graduate, and just want to take some time to study abroad somewhere else, um, get some university credit, and then take it back to their home university for the degree at home. So um, students who do these programs, they totally enroll in the full UCI courses. Um, and you can see the sample fields of study that students have taken with us in the past. So again, UCI, as all the UCs are, very large schools with a lot of options available to you. Um, everything, as you can see, from anthropology to dance, the social sciences, psychology, planning policy and design, linguistics. Um, this is a great option for students who maybe just want to like small study abroad experience. Again, you can do that for three, six or nine months. So you can do like a, a semester away or up to a full year away. And students can enroll in these in either our fall, winter or spring quarters. And again, this is the Northern Hemisphere um, um, seasons. So our fall generally starts in late September. Our winter starts beginning of January and our spring usually starts either end of March or beginning of April. So that's what we're looking at if you wanted to start these programs. And then again, you can stay for up to almost a full year. So that's ASAP. Now, Experience University Research, this is for current high school and university students. This program is designed for highly motivated students to experience the academic and cultural life at a top 10 public university campus with American and international students. So this is really a great program for students who need something a little extra for their um, applications or their resume, or just to get a better feel for what um, you can expect at university uh, university campuses in the United States, um, or just a fun little summer break activity. So students who enroll in experience university research, you get to take courses with real UCI professors, you're doing um, real programs, real research, and you can see there's a range of courses that are available. Um, they change a little bit. This is always offered um, usually in the summer. However, as you can see the very bottom my program intakes, um, our summer 2020 was moved to winter 2021. Um, but you can see everything from esports to expressive designs with IoT and robots, um, JavaScript, a wide range of courses that you can take with the UCI professors. And included with your program fee, you get the academic instruction, you'll get an airport transfer, you get campus and lab tours, um, you get some lunches and some activities that are available to you as well, so that you really get to experience not just UCI, but all of Southern California and our whole community and everything going on. So it's meant to be a really fun um, summer experience that really helps you both academically and um, personally and professionally. Um, there is an English language requirement um, here. So it would be about TOEFL IBT 60, or equivalent, so again, we do offer other tests that you can find on the website. Um, and again, those are, tend to be offered in the summer, but our summer one is moved to winter 2021, but we actually do have an online option for this this summer if you're just interested in taking a course here or there from UCI. So that is Experience University Research. And I think that takes us to the end of the programs. So, Here's a little bit of fun fact. We have a Latin America promotional discount. So this is a discount we only offer to students who are from Latin American countries. You actually get 10% off all ACP tuition. 
and you can get 20% off of all ESL tuition. So all you have to do to receive this is be from a Latin America country. And on your application, you can note Latin America promotion and you will have this discount taken off um, of the tuition amount. This is currently valid through fall of 2024. So plenty of time to research and take advantage of this to get a discount um, for studying with us. So when you study with us, you're not just getting the academic program. We do a lot to help you as well. So we have academic advising, immigration counseling. We can pick you up from the airport if you would like. Um, we have student support advisors available 24-7 uh, and the health insurance and those who can understand the health insurance and help you if you do need to use it. Um, we have lots of educational and recreational activities. We have a conversation club for language access and cross-cultural exchange. Very robust, huge student life and activities team. There's something going on almost every day. Um, and you have access to all the same things that UCI students do, including on-campus computer labs and libraries, sports facilities, tons going on. Um, so we make sure that you get a full experience with us. You're not just a student studying with us. Um, you're really a part of our community and we make sure that you're taken care of and have your questions answered every step of the way. Um, this is our sample calendar. This actually was the real calendar from February 2020. Um, you can see our activities team puts together stuff almost every single day um, that students can take part in. Everything from volunteer work in the United States to going on bigger trips like going to San Francisco for the weekend, doing a Hollywood tour, Disneyland trips, um, dance workshops, going to sporting events. Um, we really make sure you have an opportunity to see as much of Southern California with us um, as possible while you're um, a student. Um, in our program. So we do have all this up on our website, so you're welcome to check out more of what we do. Uh, but just so you know, there's a lot going on, a lot of opportunities for you. Um, just a few pictures from some of our activities that students have done, and you can see um, we have 28 titles in nine sports with our UCI athletic teams, a lot going on. 64 anteaters, again, that's our mascot. Um, so that's what we call students with us, our anteaters. They have won individual national titles and 56 anteaters have competed in the Olympics. So it's really a great place for students to get involved. A lot of good resources that are taking care of students and really helping them succeed. Um, a lot of good coming out of here. So housing, what happens when you're a student with us? Where do you live? Well, if you look at these pictures, you live in something that looks much more beautiful than even my own home. Um, that is actually a picture of the apartments where some students live. So when you, uh, if you're looking for housing, um, we have two options for students. Um, well, I guess technically three. So first off, the university apartments. So there are a few different apartment um, complexes, but this is a picture of one. But any apartment complex that you choose to live in, the room would be fully furnished. They tend to be two bedroom, two bathroom for four students. You have a roommate. There are private rooms available as well, but most students like to come either with friends or meet people so that they have roommates. They include kitchens, laundry rooms, jacuzzis, swimming pools, sports facilities, internet, cable TV, everything you could need, um, and lots of community building activities as well so that you get to know other students um, that are in our programs and then other students who are living in those um, apartments as well. Now, the apartments are not on campus, but they are right off campus. So students who live in these apartments are generally walking distance from school. There are also shuttles that pick up students from these to take them to our campus. Um, and some of the apartment complexes even let you rent bikes. Um, Everything is located, all of the apartments are located very close to the campus and the campus has a lot of um, things going on right by it. So all of these are located very close to movie theaters, um, grocery stores, other kinds of shopping stores. Um, all of the essentials are right there. So you don't need to go very far. Everything's within that little community. The other option here you have is a homestay. So the homestay offers you a private bedroom in an American family home. And actually, all the meals are optional. There are a lot of options if you want just breakfast, if you want breakfast and dinner, if you want all of the meals included. There's a lot of ways to um, pick and choose what you would like. 
Now the homestays, because you're living with an American family um, in the area, these might be a little further. So they tend to be probably 30 to 60 minutes from campus. Um, and this is just totally based on your preference, what you would like to do. Some students do a mix. So some students might do a homestay for the first quarter and then the second quarter they move into the apartments. Um, but it's totally based on your preferences. And then the UCI campus dorms actually are available for students um, during the summer quarter. So if you choose to study with us during the summer quarter, you generally have the option of UCI campus dorms as well. And this would allow you to live right on the campus in a shared UCI dorm. And it also includes the option for meal plan so that you can also eat in the, the cafeteria, um, the, the places where all the students eat and they prepare the foods every day and you just go pick what you want. So that is an option during summer. Now, we actually uh, work with these homestay providers. So you can contact them directly, let them know you would be studying at UCI Division of Continuing Education, the program that you're in, and they would help match you with someone if you don't have a roommate in mind. Um, and we have all those housing options um, available on our website. As you can see, we recommend those companies. Um, that's who we work with and know our programs and our students best. So you can check out all the different options available to you, the different apartments, different homestay options, meal plans, things like that. Um, it's all located on our website. Oh, the big news. Okay, COVID. So our response to COVID-19. All right. So UCI, the entire university, we went into lockdown in March 2020 as a direct response to state healthcare guidelines. We will absolutely not compromise health or safety of students or staff and we're taking the situation very seriously with several precautions that are currently in place and will continue to be in place. All of our staff, including student advisors, are still available and in direct communication with our students for any and all questions and concerns. We are currently still operating. We do still have programs running right now for summer, but they are all online. So we maintain this resources and updates page on our website for our community to be continuously informed on our procedures and any changes. As all of us know all around the world, this is all changing very frequently. So we make sure to keep all this information relevant and available to students. So you can see the very, this is a screenshot from our website, the very top, we have that coronavirus resources and updates. You can also access that page directly by that website below, ip.ce.uci.edu slash health. Um, and we are continuing to follow state guidelines and to monitor and take those precautions accordingly. So as of right now, today, UCI is fully remote for summer 2020 quarter. And for fall of 2020, we do plan to hold classes in person and broadcast the session synchronously in the event that a student who wants to study in fall isn't able to join us on campus for any reason. We will continue to follow the instructions of health officials. So this could change at any time. I know it's the news we all hate, but it is what it is. So for those who will be on campus for fall of 2020, there is required training for all students, instructors, and staff who will be on campus. Physical distancing will be in, um, enforced in the classrooms that will have reduced sizes. There is enhanced cleaning and sanitation in all classrooms and public spaces. Classrooms are completely sanitized if you need class. Hand sanitizers have been in installed in all classrooms. Face masks will be required for all students and instructors. And anyone coming to campus is required to complete symptom self-evaluation daily. So we will, um, as of now, continue to have the option for on-campus study for fall with these requirements in place. We will continue to listen to health safety regulations and change and adjust accordingly. So we absolutely will not place anyone into a situation of harm. Um, we are not compromising anyone's safety. We are doing this according to guidelines and doing the best we can to keep anyone and everyone as safe and healthy as possible. I'm really running short on time, but I think we'll I'll be able to play this quick video for you. It's a great visual of, um, Orange County and our campus in general. So I'll play this now.
we'll look at our campus and surrounding areas for you. All right, real quickly, we have this Ask a Student chat feature. So if you go on our website, you either have the option to, as you can see, scroll on the menu to contact and ask a student, or you can visit ip.ce.uci.edu slash ask a student. And you can actually find real current students who are available to chat with you about their experience. Um, if you have specific questions, whether you want to talk to someone from your home country or in the program you're interested in, to get their real feedback um, on the programs. And this is great for students. Um, I know it's, it's hard to talk to staff um, when I'm not in, in the program, although I have done an ACP. Um, so this is just a, an option for you if you'd like more information on that. And now I can get to some questions. So uh, we do have some contact information here, as you can see, um, and I really encourage you to look on our website, but we'll be sending you some follow-up emails following the webinar, but I did see some questions come in, so I'm happy to start answering some of those now. Um, yeah, great. Thank you, Kristen, for an amazing um, presentation. That was really informative. Um, let's start the questions. So uh, we have one question here from a Avinash. How is the Career Accelerator program different to the ACP? The which program? The Career the... Accelerated program. I wonder if those are the same one because the accelerated certificate program is the ACP program. That's what the acronym that we use. So I think that might be what she's referring to. I think that's possibly the right. Yeah, I think that's correct. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, but that's my apologies. We we use those those terms interchangeably: accelerated certificate and ACP. So I think that's the same thing. Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, do we need a student visa for this program? Oh, great news. So yes, well, okay, yes. So are these programs require an F1 student visa? Um, our staff help walk you through this entire experience and what is required of you. So the way it works is the first thing you do is you apply to the program. And then once you are accepted, our team sends you, first of all, all the documents that are needed, as well as all the instructions for you on how to get the student visa. So you will take the acceptance documents that we send to you, and then you will arrange for the interview at the embassy to get the student visa. So we help you understand this um, whole process and walk you through that. Now, I know student visas are getting, um, it's, it's, a, it's a different situation every day based on the U.S. embassies, whether they're open or not. Um, this is one reason why our fall programs are also being offered online for students who want to study with us, but maybe can't get the visa. Um, but you also don't need to get the visa from like your home city. Some students, even depending on where they live, go to countries if they're close to the border. Um, it doesn't matter which U.S. embassy you go to. But to answer the question, um, yes, students use F1 student visas and we help give you those documents and instructions um, to secure that, no problem. Okay, and the follow-on to, to that question, uh, is the U.S. allowing student visas now during the pandemic? Um, so my understanding is that yes, but kind of like I mentioned, you have to be able to get the student visa where you, um, I mean, outside of the U.S. So it really depends on if the U.S. Embassy is open near where you are. So I have been seeing some of them are reopening. Um, some of them may not have yet, but every embassy actually has a website that also can tell you for instance, how long the wait period is to get a visa because you need um, to schedule an interview. So I would recommend looking up the embassy closest to you um, and seeing for student visas if they're currently taking um, appointments for the interview. And if so, they should be able to tell you how long you might need to wait to get them. So I have actually looked up some of them. Some of them might be like next day you're able to get them. Some of them might be more like 45 days. Um, so this is something that you can look into near you and also hopefully help plan that as well. But um, while it's changing, my understanding is that yes, they are still issuing student visas. Great, thanks for the advice. Um, and another question, is it possible to get a scholarship to do the undergraduate prep? So we offer um, a scholarship. I'm sorry, I didn't... Um, have a slide there, but I can pull it up. Um, I need to remember if it applies for um, the prep program, but ip.ce.uci scholarship. Okay. 
So our scholarship is available. I mean, it actually doesn't, it doesn't look like there's a limit on the program. So it looks like, yes, you would be able to apply for a scholarship for any of the programs. Um, so there's further information about it here. Um, I apologize, I didn't put that in the presentation, but again, the ip.ce.uci.edu and then just scholarship, you can have a look at that um, specifics if you get a chance. Okay, great. Um, and lastly, uh, so you mentioned the Latin American promotion uh, yes. before, and we have a question from a student asking, does this include Brazil? Yes, yes, absolutely. It, it does. does. It does. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Well, that's good. That answers all the questions really that we have time for today. Beautiful. Um, yes. I went long. More? Yeah, no, no, no. Honestly, if you have any more, do let us know in uh, the emails on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. We need to get into touch with Kenny or Kristen or whoever. Um, and from here, all I can say really is thank you to you for presenting a great presentation and for, for all the questions from all the students uh, today. Um, please do check out Viva Dash Mono and sign up to our newsletter to find out more uh, on options abroad. Um, any last words, Kristen? Um, thank you all so much for attending. I appreciate your patience with me and I hope you all are doing well and healthy. We're really looking forward to being able to welcome international students again. So um, hopefully you're able to consider some of these programs. Great. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. So stay safe and do get into Bye, everyone. Right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.